Hello everyone, I'm Chad Miller and welcome to Film Geek Maniac. So this episode isn't necessarily about film per se, uh, however, it's, um, it is about themes in film, and one particular franchise, um, in this segment is the Bond films. Now, I'm a pretty decent Bond fan. I've, I've not ran the whole spectrum of all the movies as of yet, um, but I definitely uh, enjoy the, the opening credits and the theme music that goes along with those movies. So um, there's a fellow YouTuber who's a subscriber to this channel uh, that did his rundown on all of them and it was pretty fascinating and I was just like man I've been wanting to do that for a while and I don't necessarily want to copy his his style so I decided that I was just going to narrow it down to the top five worst and the top five best so let's get started with the worst. The number one on the worst list is going to be the worst Bond song ever. So we're going to kick it off with number five. And that is You Only Live Twice by Nancy Sinatra. Number four is For Your Eyes Only by Sheena Easton. This was a song that I didn't... Hi, computer. <laughs> uh, that I didn't realize was attached to a Bond movie because it was a popular radio hit. All Time High by Rita Coolidge. I... It, for... The life of me have no idea why this became a Bond song. Um, it it's it. None of the tropes are there, and it's very very disappointing. Number two. Nobody does it better by Carly Simon. And once again, this is. A song that I I just don't feel it it's a Bond song and it it just feels like oh here's somebody popular to sing a song let's let them do it their own way and we'll throw it in and that brings us to number one the worst Bond theme of all time. And that is Die Another Day by Madonna. And I hate seeing this because Madonna has been one of my idols for so many years. And, um, yeah, the song is absolute trash. <laughs> So that wraps up my five worst Bond songs of all time. Okay, so now it is time to get to my favorite top five Bond songs of all time. And number five is going to be Thunderball by Tom Jones. I think, uh, for the most part, 
you have to have a powerhouse vocalist to do a Bond theme. And, um, and Tom Jones is just one of those. And so that's my number five. Number four, um, a bit unconventional, um, but You Know My Name by Chris Cornell, um, featured in Casino Royale, which brought fresh new blood to the Bond series, um, and it, it fit so amazingly well. And it, it could have made number one for me, um, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely at number four, um, but it's a damn, damn, damn good song. <laughs> Number three is Skyfall by Adele. And I think that she was perfect to do a Bond theme. And I, uh, it, it just completely resonates with me. And uh, this list was really, really hard. Um, because not only am I just choosing 10 songs to pick out of roughly 25, um, I really have to s sit and think about why I'm putting things in these orders. And, um, yeah, so it, it's been a difficult choice. Coming in at number two is Goldeneye by Tina Turner. And in all honesty, Goldeneye was the very first Bond film I had ever watched. So I think there's a little bit of a personal attachment to it. Um, but it, it is a great Bond song and Tina sings the hell out of it. Um, it's just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So my favorite Bond theme of all time belongs to the wonderful Shirley Bassey. Uh, she's gone on to record three Bond themes and the one I love best is Diamonds Are Forever, and um, I might throw a slight little snippet, hoping hoping not to get copyright pinged of um, myself singing the song um, after this video, so um, hopefully nobody will say copyright. Um, It, 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 it's a great song to sing, and if you got the vocal chops, um, which I have to a degree, um, yeah. So, Diamonds Are Forever by Shirley Bassey is my number one Bond theme. Um, and as I said, there are so many Bond themes to go through. There are some I would love to mention on these lists, um, both good and bad. Um, but uh, I just had to uh, not make this a super lengthy video. So thank you so much for watching this uh, really kind of special episode of Film Geek Maniac. Love and light to you all. I don't need love for what good we 
Oh, 